Art fight has been an in community tradition for a lot of artists over the last decade, and I find it kind of fun and nostalgic almost to share this event with others, as it reminds me of myself and how I felt joining for the first time. So I can understand it's a little daunting and scary when it feels like everyone but you knows what this event is and how to do it. So I hope this video can help you as most did me when I first started and make it a little bit easier on your journey into art fight. Art fight is an annual event, meaning it only happens once a year and it always starts on the 1st of July to the 1st of August. Although the prep and hype for it pretty much starts in mid June since that's usually when they have their team announcement stream which i believe was on the 15th this year and they had announced sea foam versus stardust which i feel is a very easy and fun thing to get into although personally the choice for me was very hard so i can understand that it might be a little frustrating to try and choose just one although i do know you are allowed to switch teams although i think you can only do it like once or twice and if you really can't choose, I know there's an option for the website to choose for you, which I believe is just called like the choose for me option on the website part where you choose your team. So if you ever feel like, oh, I can't choose or I like them both, I don't know which one I want to do, then it's an option you can do. But basically how the event works is that people do quote unquote attacks on each other where you draw the other person or the target, as you can say, original character and based on how you drew them or how much I guess quote unquote effort you could say was put into it you get a certain amount of points that are built into like a I'll put it on the screen but it's like a I believe I guess you could call it like a a grade system kind of I think the least you can get is five like the most I've ever seen personally is a hundred and that was on an animation someone made that included like more than 20 characters so Again, how much effort you put into it will be graded effectively, I believe. Although I know at the end of the year, the moderators do kind of go through and try to try appropriately grade as much as they can since they understand sometimes the system might be a little unfair is all I can say. But that is pretty much the main goal of the game is to win. And based on how many points you earn for your team or how many points are earned by each team in general, the winner is announced at the end after the moderators kind of fix it. And the website does have a built-in like point meter, but I personally don't rely on it too much since sometimes you can think, oh yeah, we got this. Or it could be very, very close and then it gets fixed by the moderators and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, just kidding, not, no longer a tie and now everyone wins or whatever, you know. So that is good to keep in mind when you feel like you have it in the bag is that you never know what to happen. It can flip on you. I personally is not that deep into the art fight crowd within the first couple of my years. So I might be missing out on some details, but based on being in the discord server itself and just like general knowledge of the years, I can try and provide these etiquette tips and hopefully it is a little bit helpful on any questions you might have or anything you feel a little lost in. Um, the first couple ones I will say it's usually agreed upon that it's polite to comment on people who attack you. I mean obviously you know it's good to say thank you and everything so I feel like this is a little kind of known obviously but some people I know might be a little shy or feel like it can be annoying to comment over and over again or you know be like oh my gosh thank you thank you so much you know but I personally love it I think it's really nice to see like when you do something for someone and then they really like it and it's just very it keeps the good energy going like the competitiveness I have since as much as I love doing this art fight thing for like the competition of it I also like doing it because it's nice to see people, you know, find things they love out of it and get just like, I found a lot of mutuals personally, so I can see why it might be nice to comment and just encourage other people and be like, hey, I really like what you did for me, so hopefully, you know, maybe we can keep these good vibes going, um, but that's definitely kind of an easy first thing to tackle. Um, another important thing is making sure to read character permissions. This is very important and it can be found literally right under the picture of the OC or character you're going for. And it is a good reminder 
as to kind of be like, oh, well, what I find okay might be a really big no-no to someone else. So it's very good to make sure they kind of look at that before you go full into a drawing with a character since it can be frustrating when you're like, yeah, I love, um, I'm trying to think, <laughs> like, oh, I love drawing, like, blood and injuries on my characters, so maybe they'll like it on theirs. And it's like, nope, they state that, don't do that very first, so, you know. It's a good thing to keep that in mind. Um, I know there's two different permissions since some people individually on the characters might be okay with it and some people might not as a whole. So it's good to make sure you kind of, you know, talk, tackle those two things before you really get deep into a piece. Um, two like very important things I definitely want to mention is that it is an official rule, but the best way I can explain it is that Art Fight is not Toy House. And if you don't know what Toy House is, it's basically kind of like a digital, I guess I'm going to say a marketplace for art and like character designs. And I do know, if I remember correctly, that the rules state you can do that for people as an attack, quote unquote, is like make characters for them if they ask for it or stuff like that. But it's a very sensitive, like, I guess like tiptoe issue since I know there has been some drama in the past over this. So it can be a little hard to do it and probably not get like some like side eyes because like oh you didn't hear what happened last time i mean it wasn't like oh someone did it bad or anything like it wasn't quality it was just the fact that i'm not gonna say who or what or too much details because i personally can't even remember their name but basically someone made a bunch of designs for people and then when the time came for those people to have said designs um, all of a sudden they were trying to sell them and kind of use them in other places. It's very frustrating. Um, if you look hard enough, I'm sure you'll find it and you could probably learn a lesson from that. But basically it's just good to try and not treat art fight as like a way to get new characters since it is prohibited to try and sell, trade, or even use the event as a whole as a marketplace. So I would just make sure to keep that in mind. Um, another big no-no, I know, <laughs> is to avoid, like, repetitively commenting and asking for art, which I feel like is kind of obvious, but I know some people might think, oh, but I feel like me comment, like, I know I said earlier, commenting over and over again, and, like, or not commenting over and over again, but commenting in general and saying thank you and, like, you know, being appreciative is different than trying to be, like, I'm gonna say guilt trippy or be all like, mm, you said you're gonna draw me, where's my attack? You know, stuff like that. Or, you know, like go on the other people's pages and be like, hey, can you attack my character? It's, I know it's a very big like no in the rules. So if you feel like you're just trying to be nice and be like, hey, I see you haven't done anything. Here's a character you can draw. It's best to not do that. <laughs> I know some artists have like a Google form, which they call hit list. Where you can fill out information on a character or share a character and then they'll have like the option to draw them or not but again even if you do you know fill out a hit list form don't expect it because it's i'm sure that person probably has like hundreds of pieces or characters submitted to them and it can be very frustrating to be like trying to go your own pace and then this one person's just like very set on reminding you they have a character they submitted it's very stressful and it can cause a lot of rift between artists so it's best to kind of just let things come to you and again if you are caught doing the said like I guess p pressure on other people you can be suspended and it can result in a huge punishment. All in all I would say it's just good to practice sportsmanship. Um, I always find the community around Art Fight to be better than most <laughs> communities and I'm sure there probably has been some things like I mentioned earlier like drama wise that's happened. I know there's been some interesting things to happen last year on art fight but again i feel like the people themselves are very nice and like i've never found someone be very like hostile about it and even though it is a competition or like it can, it can come off like really competitive i've never ran into someone who's been like a haggler of sorts and i think it's nice like i think it's a nice opportunity for new like social artists like it might be new to social media or you might have never done anything like this before to use it as an opportunity to learn and grow yourself. And I definitely use a lot to practice things I wouldn't usually draw since I feel like my OCs are not very diverse, but there's so many different like designs and species to choose from 
that I feel like it's a good opportunity to try and practice what you feel like you might not be strong in. And it's also just a nice event to get to know other artists and kind of like just draw. It's really just a nice excuse to draw. And even though, again, it is competitive, like I said, do not feel bad about your pace or like you're not doing very well or something you've submitted isn't good or the score you got on it isn't very high. It's at the end of the day, it really is just for fun. Most people I know don't like ever feel, I guess, like nitpicky about anything they get like every piece i've gotten i have saved i love it it is dear and near to my heart and i'm sure almost everyone feels the same way so don't feel like oh i made a piece but they didn't comment on it most likely it's someone who probably has a lot and they're still just trying to get through them all but don't feel like as if you know you failed them or like you didn't do good and now you are gonna lose and you should just stop participating and you should just give up or anything like that Again, it really is for fun, and I never want to see anyone feel like as if they, I guess, aren't doing good, <laughs> you know, since I know it can be a little stressful and scary when you see all these people pumping out stuff like back to back over and over again, nonstop, and it's just good to remember that everyone's different, and hell, I mean, even last year, I think I only made like three or four pieces, one of them being like just a bunch of small chibis, and that was enough for me, like it's... At the end of the day, it's not like necessary, I say necessary to do, even though you might feel like you have to now that you signed up and you like did all this work for it. Like if you feel like you've done what you can and you're done or you haven't done anything at all and you just feel like you can't do it, that's okay. It is perfectly fine to know your limit and you shouldn't ever feel like you have to push yourself when you really have no obligation to. So don't ever, you know, Beat yourself up too much about it. I go about finding characters is usually a mix of the Discord server, which has a channel dedicated to what they call target hunting. And usually it's just people posting like the team cards that you can get that you saw me drawing earlier, or just like general reference sheets they have with their OCs or what they like to draw, and you know, just like a basic intro. And I also like to use the built-in, like, website's recent character section. I usually browse that, like, every now and again whenever I'm, like, I don't, I feel like I need more characters. Since I also use, like, the built-in bookmark feature, which is a good way to kind of tab a character and maybe make a note on it. I know last year I did that a lot. I would tab a character and be like, um, would look good as a chibi or would look good as a half body with someone so vibe, you know? And it's also good if you just see someone you like and you're like, oh, boop, and then like you can come back to it later. And I think it's very useful. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it or use it. I mean, that might just be me. I don't know if that's like a thing I just miss out on. And it is just a nice way to kind of make the whole process of finding character easier. And I know it's also really common, like I mentioned earlier, the either Google Docs or Google Forms are what people call them as hit lists. And I guess like I can find it more fun is that when it's like a surprise, so it kind of removes the stress I have when people are expecting art from me. Since, I mean, I know people probably don't really look at hit lists since if it's a Google Form, you can't see, you know, like what they're gonna do. But with like Google Docs and stuff, I did it one time. Is like I'd write the name, what I plan to do, and then like when to do it. And I've never had anyone like message me or like try to see like, oh, when are you going to finish my piece? Like no one's ever done that to me. But I guess it's that stress of like knowing, oh, this person probably knows I'm going to draw them. I should probably do it. So I just find it easier to kind of keep it to myself. And of course, if you ever do find yourself on a hit list, again, don't bring it up and don't, you know, be like, Oh, when will it be done? Or like I mentioned earlier, commenting on their posts or saying, hey, I saw you put me on like, your hit list, you know. It's just good etiquette. <laughs> and it's probably better off you just... I personally say when you use a hit list or try to fill out a hit list, kind of treat it as like a maybe and not much a guarantee. Since it's not an obligation to draw anything. And at the end of the day, most artists I know probably end up just drawing whatever they feel in the moment works. 
This is the topic I was most excited to talk about in this video since I feel like what most people look for and helps your art really stand out, especially when it's art of other people's characters, is the personality. Um, even if it's just them standing still, sometimes changing the pose or like how they look or what they're looking at can really give it like that extra kick to it and can honestly make you how you feel about the piece in the end change entirely. Um, usually the first thing I do is research. Most people when they have characters has a toy house linked to it or maybe like a google doc or just something on it. Maybe even the description of the character itself usually has extra tidbits of the character, what they like, how they are, like their personality alignment, stuff like that. And it definitely makes it a lot easier, at least personally for me also, is when I can find like little tidbits about characters. Like, um, oh, this character really likes mangoes, so I might draw them with a mango background or eating a mango. Like, just little things like that can really help, like, your attack stand out and honestly just makes, like, in general, outside of Art Fight, I do this, especially with, like, commissions and stuff. If it's, like, a very, like, oh, do what you want with the piece kind of job, I usually try my best to look into what makes the character the character and what the creator loves so much about said character and can really help again push you know the whole this isn't my character but I care and I think they're great so I'm drawing them and of course it's also good to make sure you know check the permissions and make sure you're not doing anything that might be a little out of bounds to the creator although most of the time I'm sure you guys will be able to understand when something you're doing is too far. It's very common, especially with art fight, to find yourself feeling very unmotivated and sluggish almost after I'd say probably a couple of like attacks or what you might consider really finished pieces and maybe even before you really start. I know a couple times, like a couple years ago, I honestly didn't, I would, I would register, choose a team, have my references ready and then draw like one thing or nothing at all and then just kind of stop. And I know a lot of people call it burnout or art block. And I usually find it best to just kind of stop and take a day or two to myself. Either just not draw at all so I can kind of get that itch to draw again. Or just draw what I want. Or honestly, I think probably another thing is I like to watch my favorite movies or just like shows I like. Since usually that's what inspires me to kind of draw or do something different. And I feel like that's probably the most, I'd say, successful way to go about it. Because I feel like whenever you have burnout or you're really struggling, it's best to just not draw. Since I feel like it's your body being like, hey, we do this a lot and I can't think of anything right now. So why don't we just stop drawing so I can kind of rebuild myself and get the itch to draw again. And it's very important to, you know, listen to yourself and be like, okay, well... I don't feel like drawing, so I guess I'm just not going to until I want to. Since, again, since art fight is for fun, it's really not, you know, obligated or an obligation for you to do. So don't feel like just because you did all the work of submitting and like putting all this effort into probably making your page look good or your reference sheets look good. I know it can be a little disappointing and also very frustrating when you find yourself not like having the urge to do it anymore but again you really can't force yourself to do it sometimes and it's probably best you don't since you might look back on it later and be like huh this did not come out as good as I would like it to have because I rushed it and made myself do it so it's probably again best to just take a pause and remember this event lasts a whole month so don't worry about you know getting it done right away and another topic or question I got was how to be like more efficient time wise and like how to do a simple attack. And I feel like this kind of relates to the burnout part of it is I feel like, especially with me, I always want to try and do as much as I can. And sometimes that's obviously not going to work out since I can't do 100% on everything I draw. So I feel like a good way to go about it is maybe doing like simple chibis or again you don't have to do a full body you can always just do like a little headshot or just a little face 
and you don't have to color it all the way you don't have to shade it all the way i know i mentioned earlier like the point system and how it's better to give it your all sometimes but if you ever just want to draw something but you don't think you can do it 100 percent, i personally feel like it's okay to you know not do it 100 percent. of course it's good to remember that art fight does have a rule about simplifying designs of ocs and that mostly means like with chibis it's kind of you know a given but if the way you're going about it is that you're removing like key features of a character or like completely changing how they look so it's easier to draw that is a big no-no and will also result in you most likely getting punished and also honestly gives you a little bit of a bad rep as the person who redraws characters to make them easier so again if you really do want to go about doing something like that make sure that you draw and give the character justice wow that <laughs> was a lot yeah especially for me um again i understand the anxiety around a new event that might seem like again everyone knows about but you and there's like all these rules and all this social rules and i i know earlier i probably made it seem like a little bit more stressful than it was but i just want to make sure everyone has fun and i don't want anyone to be like i guess more lost than they probably are now or feel like as if they might do something horribly wrong and they get scared they don't do anything at all because i know i have that issue also but again, this event is just for fun. And if you really have any deeper questions, I'm going to make sure to put all the official art fight rules and their own questionnaire and any other videos I feel like fit anything I didn't say personally. Since there's a lot of little things I don't know, like the nitty gritty of the details of like the rules and certain um, content filters. So I want to give kind of an opportunity to other people to talk about it since I personally don't feel like I am fit to talk about them 100% so again make sure to check those out and I hope you guys have fun and to quote the art fight team themselves of the art fight <clears throat> while there are point scores the real goal is to celebrate characters with your fellow artists art fight is about giving and receiving amazing art <laughs>